What is good, Ninja? My name is OJ, and welcome to another News Essence. Today, we have some amazing topics to go over, some BS to kind of bust when it comes to this leaked or data mined eShop thing. I wanted to talk about it in a normal video. I already did talk about it in a live stream, wanted to get to it here, so we'll tackle that first. We also have some information when it comes to the Nindies Direct. I'm still covering a few different things here. There's some cool games that I wanted to highlight from the Messenger to the co-op puzzler platformer pod as well. So let's go ahead and get right into this. And we are starting off with the supposed or some type of data mined eShop leak that came out on Imgur or whatever that site is. It's just... This is not real guys i do not think that this is real based on all these different games that are coming out here now what has happened with this list in terms of what they are doing they are taking a lot of common sense or just easy to pick games that you know are going to come or already been announced and then they're mixing that in with just a bunch of stuff just to go over certain things to get you hyped up now from this list that i've seen yes there are some games that I know about that are going to be coming from this list, but that's more of an educated guess, in my opinion, than something that is data mined out there. Now, I'm covering this because a lot of you guys have been linking me to this and wanting to get my opinion on it. Maybe you missed my live stream. Those videos are long. So, like I said, I wanted to get it into a normal video. Now, some of the highlights of this supposed data mine list are something like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. There's also Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We have some more weirder ones like Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Definitive Edition, Dr. Mario Virus Meltdown, Pokemon Nuclear, Pokemon. I mean, there's just all sorts of stuff that's on here. Dylan's Warring Western 2, which that's not the name of the next game, or maybe it's coming to the Switch. There's going to be a Dylan's Rolling Western on there. So there's a lot of different stuff here, guys, and I just don't think a lot of it is real. I don't think that this list was actually data mined out. I think that they're just taking some wild speculation and kind of putting that in there. There was even stuff like the Division 2, which could potentially be on the Nintendo Switch based on the Snowdrop engine coming over to the system. You have games like, for example, South Park that uses the Snowdrop engine. The Division 1 uses the Snowdrop engine. You also have Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle from Ubisoft that also uses the same engine as well. So that's possible, but at the same time, like, we don't know on that one. On top of that, there's Watch Dogs 3, which has not been announced, but I wouldn't be surprised if Watch Dogs 3 does get announced at this year's E3. Watch Dogs 1 and 2 actually both did really well. Watch Dogs 2 did better than I thought it would do considering just certain things with that game. It's a better game than Watch Dogs 1, but just considering just certain aspects that I don't feel like talking about, I didn't think it was going to do as well as it did, but it actually ended up doing solid. So could we see a Watch Dogs 3? Maybe, but I'm not sure if that's going to come to Nintendo Switch. Ubisoft has been pretty steadfast on not releasing more of the mature line games on the Nintendo Switch. Now, we do have South Park, so maybe their tune is changing just a bit. Now that the Nintendo Switch is out there, it's going into its second year on the market. So, there's more of an install base, so that could potentially bring more sales to their games. But it's just something that we have to wait and see. And I know there's a lot more than what I just said that's on this list. There's all sorts of stuff. In terms of Art Academy, I'm looking at Nintendogs, there's just all sorts of stuff. I mean, look at the name for this, Nintendogs Canine Experiences. Seriously, Canine Experiences. Now, sometimes these could be code names, but I don't think these would be code names data mined from the eShop. Some of these are just too ridiculous to be code names and stuff. So, what do you guys think of this? I'm steadfast on the bow of It Is Fake, and this person made this list up. I mean, there's some stuff that can potentially contradict that because he did get some things right based on when they supposedly put the post up, which was February 4th, but I don't know if how they're editing stuff in. I don't know what they're doing with that, and like I said, a lot of stuff could have just been educated guesses or maybe they are looking at the same type of rumors that other people are looking at other places. So, yeah, I don't believe it at all. But at the same time, there are some games on here that are going to come to the Nintendo Switch. But like I said, educated guests are just putting it down more so than them actually data mining anything from the Nintendo Switch eShop. So, what do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, and moving into the next story here, we're going to be talking about the Messenger for the Nintendo Switch. Now, this game is kind of low-key getting overlooked by people out there. And 
and I think that you guys need to take a little bit of a better look at this one. It has a very unique style to it, kind of reminds me of Ninja Gaiden just a little bit from the NES, but then again, you can kind of form it into from an 8-bit to a 16-bit platformer action game. So let's go ahead and talk about this game a little bit, and it's called The Messenger, like I stated, the 8-bit to 16-bit action platformer so sabotage studio has confirmed that the messenger its january announced action platformer that shifts from 8-bit to 16-bit will come to nintendo switch in addition to pc in 2018 now let's talk a little bit more about this game so as a demon army besides his village a young ninja ventures through a cursed world to deliver a scroll paramount to his clan's survival leveraging players expectations as a core game design ingredient the Messenger is first presented as an 8-bit action platformer with a simple story that unravels into an epic time-traveling tale, eventually revealing itself as a 16-bit Metroidvania game packed with replay value and deadpan humor. Here are the key features of the game, an epic ninja adventure with challenging gameplay and tight controls, legit 8-bit and 16-bit art and music reminiscent of your favorite NES and Super NES games, memorable cast often silly villains, bosses, and associates, catchy soundtrack by renowned chiptune composer Rainbow Dragon Eyes, made in Fami Tracker, character upgrades, new abilities, hidden levels, and story arcs to discover. So right there, they've got me at this game, and really that's what got me more to talk about this game in depth, was the character upgrades, new abilities, hidden levels, and story arcs to discover. I love that stuff, especially with Metroidvania style or 8-bit, 16-bit games out there. These are perfect for the Nintendo Switch. I love that progression system that they build in, so this one definitely caught my eye. So challenging and visceral gameplay where mastery is a thing to behold, and that's that's kind of where the Ninja Gaiden kind of comes in to this one as well. So I'm excited about it. And I think that it's going to be a solid game for the Nintendo Switch. We've had a few clunkers here and there on the Nintendo Switch eShop. I recently reviewed um, Castle of Heart for the Nintendo Switch, which tried to kind of bring back that old school 2D platformer action game. And it just didn't really do a good job of it. So I'm thinking the messenger can kind of fill that void along with some of the other stuff that's going on. Because last year it was hard to top when it comes to platformers action games we had steamroll dig 2 we had shovel knight in addition to stuff like fast rmx so there were great racing games there were great action games there were great adventures from independent studios so we'll see what happens this year but i think the messenger is actually looking pretty good so what do you guys think about the messenger so far did you guys like what they're trying to do with the gameplay i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below all right and moving into the final story here we have a co-op puzzle exploration game Code announced for the Nintendo Switch. So this is the story of a little rock helping a fallen star find its way home. So developer Henchman and Goon, which is just a fantastic name to have, has announced Pode, a co-op puzzle exploration game built around the themes of friendship and cooperation for the Nintendo Switch. It will launch this spring. So kind of Kirby Star Allies, friendship and cooperation. Let's go ahead and get into an overview about this game. So Pode is a story about a little rock helping a fallen star find its way home. As they travel through the insides of a mysterious and magical mountain, Builder and Globe breathe life into an ancient sleeping world and explore the ruins of a long lost civilization with their unique talents and abilities. Only by helping each other can these unlikely adventure companions solve the ancient puzzles that open the secret passageways to the cavern of Mount Vigilum. And I probably said that wrong. Now this game Pode has a strong emphasis on positive actions relaxing atmosphere and beautiful art inspired by Norwegian culture and the key features of this game are exploration discover a beautiful and ancient cave system and uncover its secrets to reach the goal puzzles solve puzzles riddles and mysteries combine the two character special abilities to overcome obstacles co-op or single player share the experience with a friend or enjoy playing by yourself and a unique art style enjoy a world inspired by norwegian art and nature so this is definitely not the style of game for me i'm not huge into puzzle games and all of that my daughter doesn't really like them either so i don't really have anybody to play co-op seems like it's not going to be an online type of game that you can go online and buddy up with someone there so for me not so sure 
sure about it so far in terms of how I'll like it, but based on what they showed off, especially at the Nindies Direct, and after reading some more about the game, it definitely seems like a quality independent game based on what I've seen here. And I think that a lot of people are going to like it or do have something that can play this game co-op with. And it kind of seems to me like Nintendo Switch is bringing back that couch co-op multiplayer. It's bringing back that getting together around the TV and playing with your friends or playing with your family, which is awesome. And I always support and want to make sure that I mention and spotlight games that do that, especially if they're looking good from independent studios that are trying to make their name in the gaming industry. So what do you guys think about this co-op platformer code? In addition to the messenger and also this leaked data mine thing that's probably not true i would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below all right ninja that wraps it up for this video here go ahead and check out the links in the description below we've got facebook we've got twitter go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media really helps us spread the content of players since across the interwebs in addition to youtube also make sure you check out our Patreon, Twitch, and YouTube Live gaming page to consider supporting Player Essence. When you do so, it gets you access to all sorts of cool benefits, perks, rewards, emotes, and access to PE Arena. So check out the link in the description below and consider supporting us right here on Player Essence. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for this RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you ninja for the next video. Peace!